Now, join us as we take you on a glorious journey into God's presence. And we believe that your life shall never be the same again. Long life service, and on behalf of my father, I will come. I want you to shout your loudest, Hallelujah! 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 Put both hands together for Jesus as you can take your seats. You are blessed in Jesus' name. We are taking our call to worship from Psalm 91. Jitengama pembezo watu mamu no masali mwona intewan Masali mwona intewan And we lead responsibly Dizavere nga pamozi I take verse 1, you take verse 2 Dizavere nga ndimeo yamba Dizavere nga chiviri Kufigira pandimeo sikistini Psalm 91 Masali mo na intewan. Verse one I read. Dizavere nga ndi meo yamba. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shut door of the Almighty. Verse two. Dizati kwa Yehova bota wirapo panga ndili inga langa mulungu wanga amene ndi mukulupirira. Verse two together. Dizati kwa Yehova panta wirapo panga ndi linga langa mulungu wanga amene. Verse 3, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Verse 4, verse 3, he shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the hour of that Flayed by day, verse 6. Kapena muliri woyenda mumudima, kapena chiono ngeko, chakuterera usana. Verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Verse 8 together. Koma uzape nyandima aso hako, nuzaona kubwereze la chirango, oipa. Verse 8. Only with thy eyes shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked. Verse 9. Popeza udati inu Yehovah ndinu potawira popanga. Udaika wamu mwamba mwamba chokala mchako. Verse 10. There shall be no evil before thee, neither shall end plague come thy dwelling. Verse 11. Pakuti azala mulira angelo hake zaiwe. Akusunge mungira zake zonse. Verse 12, they shall bear thee up in thy hand, rest thy dash, thy foot against a stone. Verse 13. Uzaponda mkango ndipiri, uzapondeza musana wa mkango ndichi njoka. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known thy name. Verse 15. Azandi furira inendipo, ndizamu yanka, kusawunso, ndizakala. Nae pamozi Dizala mulidisa Ndi kumuchitira ulemo Verse 16 together Let's lead together 1, 2, 3, go With long life Will I satisfy him And show him my salvation I see the Lord satisfying with long life In the name of Jesus Put your hands together for Jesus As the service continues Dike panya pamozi Pamene tipitira Ndi musonka no watu Hallelujah. Amen. Uh uh. That was sounded very weak. Welcome Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Prophesy to your neighbor. The God of Bishop Oyedepo is in this place. Testimonies validate the mandate that God gave to Bishop David Oyedepo to liberate the world from all oppressions 
of the devil through the preaching of the word of faith. Please, if you hear your name, rush to the altar and come and testify to the glory of God. Please rush to the altar. Akim Olani, Akim Olani, please rush to the altar. Elder Mary Favor Kafunda, Elder Mary Favor Kafunda, please rush to the altar. Anthony Simkonda, Anthony Simkonda. Please keep on clapping as they come. Maureen Sampa, Maureen Sampa, Maureen Sampa. Please keep on clapping. Maxwell Piri, Maxwell Piri. Maxwell Piri. Penjani Christian Mango, Penjani Christian Mango. Deaconess Peggy Mulenga. Deaconess Peggy Mulenga. Please keep on clapping. Encourage them as they come to validate the mandate. Your name. And what God has done briefly. I am a Bible school student in LCC. Um, it was last week when Papa was uh, administering the anointing oil. He talked about divine connections, divine appointment. My brother was fired some two weeks ago. I had to pray for him. I used the same anointing oil and I took him to the mountain. We prayed and he has been called back for the job and he will be reporting tomorrow. And concerning my divine connections, there's a divine financial breakthrough. I just want to thank the Lord for that. Hallelujah. Your name, sir, and what the Lord has done briefly, one minute. My name is Akim Olani. See, I just want to appreciate God for what he has done, especially for Papa in the house. Um, it was through Bible school. Uh, ever since I started Bible school, I had uh, uh, this encounter where, as the message we are going to, I had something freaking in my spirit. From then, I felt something like it had dropped. From, from that time, I feel relieved and um, I feel I've been blessed through this Bible school. I give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Your name and what the Lord has done briefly, one minute. Um, I'm Mary Favor Kafonda. I just want to give glory to God for what He's doing in my family's life. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the presence of the man of God in this house. I want to testify that Daddy has been declaring so many, many, many blessings in this place. And a few weeks ago, I remember he blessed us with his surprising blessings because himself he was surprised. He never expected that lifting twice in a week. And as we said amen, I didn't know what I was saying amen for because really I said God surprised me, but I don't know what. To our surprise, God surprised us with two t tickets with my husband. We flew to South Africa to meet our daughter and our son-in-law, just to eat and drink with them to the glory of God. So I just want to give God the glory. And the second set testimony is as we came back on Tuesday night, we used the last flight. We didn't have transport. We booked a cab. So as we are coming, the taxi drivers just did some fun, funny things. He connected himself to, he was a thief, so to say. So, but when we realized that that man was a thief, a thief, we just connected ourselves to the Holy Ghost. I just shouted, the Holy Ghost fire, take charge. And indeed, the Holy Ghost fire took charge. That man was restless. Whatever his evil plans were, were paralyzed, and we arrived home safely. I just want to give God the glory. Amen. Your name and what the Lord has done briefly, one minute. My name is Anton Sunkonde. Uh, this is my one year and two days exactly when I stepped into the state. 
just before when just before we came to the stage, I felt terrible pains in my stomach. So I, I was wondering as to uh, am I going to do beer and ice today? <laughs> so I said, ah, but what am I holding in my hand? Then I, I saw that I had a mantle, then I pressed it on my stomach, and I just said, but my papa can never be sick. So just after that, two minutes later, I felt good, and I did beer uh, nice. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abale watu waonga mulungu kuti pamena anali kubwera kuna anali kumva mumala kupweteka koma hii wadao na kuta anali ndika tambaka kwa zoza kaja Ndipo adaka hika pamala so pano mumala muja Mwachira ndipo avina biyara mobula hey. Your name madam what the Lord has done briefly one minute no stories My name is Maureen Sampa It was yesterday I invite my friend to my graduation and to my surprise, my friend blessed me with a new suit, so I thank God, because they are congratulated me, many people. I thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hakalongo sivatu waonga mulungu kuti iwo, adawa dalisa ndi suti kuli muntu wamena adaita na kuti abwere kuchisanga la lokuno. Your name, sir, and what the Lord has done briefly, one minute. My name is uh, Max Wapili, and this is my light of being thankful to my daddy, Adeneji and also the spirit of my, our bishop, Oyedebo. I'm very pleased of what has happened in my life. It is something that I can not even believe, even at this time. It was on Wednesday, the previous week, uh, when we went with Mamwera to Shoplight. We purchased some goods there, and Mamwera told me that I should wait at the till. When I was waiting there, the manager from game stores came, was behind me, then when I was waiting there, the manager called the relative that uh, you sh should come for the interviews. You should come for the interviews, the interviews which are taking place at game stores. Then I, get, I, I got hold of that, of the name which he mentioned that you should say, I'm Cleese. I got hold of the name. Then on, at around 14 hours, I went there with boldness and saying, I've come for the interviews. Then. Uh, people were directing me where the, 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 my colleagues were, were seated. I went there, we, we, I, I learned the test, and I even attended the interviews. Everything was correct because I believe that uh, because that the Adeneji works in the foot of my uh, Papa uh, Oyedepo, I believe I'll, I'll draw those, the, the, the blessings that he has. Therefore, I got the job, and I'm now at Game Stores. Thank you. Abale watu, abale watu ndi woko hey. nwera, ndi poso ni woda abu, apa menezi chitika mwe wawo, kutisikulina, napita uge musto ndi amai e, mwerwa. Kufika kuja adango kumva kuti kuzakala mafunso anchi hito, iwo adabu era ntawi imene ya mena ananena, ndi poso adatenga kumbali ya mafunso, ndi poso pano nchito ija, adatenga ndi woko nwera kweni kweni. Your name sir and what the Lord has done one minute. Hallelujah. My name is Penjani Christian Mohango. I just want to thank God, firstly, that this Bible school has not only transformed my life, it's made me a pillar in my family. Whenever my dad is sick, my, when he calls my mom in South Africa, she'll tell him, Ko Penjani is going to pray for you. And God has been doing wonders. I just want to thank God because um, my father and I have always been arguing in the word and I've been praying for him to be established in church and to give his life to Christ. So as time went by, I would argue about the word, but this Bible school, people of God, it has changed my life. One morning he called me, I sat him down, I said, I'm not praying for you until you give your life to Christ. To the glory of God, I read scriptures to him, I made him understand to say, if indeed he's planted in Christ, he will be sick. I prayed with him and I led him to God, I give God all the glory, today he's a Christian. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yeah. Abale watu ndi wakondu ila kuti Bible school ya sintazi ntuzambiri Iwa atate wawa dali wafutikila kudwala Kuma siku lila lango nena kuti ine mpaka ndi kupempele leni Muzipereke kwa mulungu Dipo adachita zimenezo Atate wawa upamene tina, tika amba hapa ndi ya kristu sopano O imi lila linjinjinji Your name mama and what the Lord has done for you Briefly one minute uh, My name is Jiko Nespegi Mulenga uh, Good morning church uh, I am here to confirm the word of God from the mouth of the servant, our father in the house. Uh, some time back this year, I came here with my elder sister. Uh, she is a UCZ member in Kasama and she lives in Kasama. So we came here for the evening service 
Holy Communion service. And she partook of that Holy Communion. But as the word of God was going on from the mouth of our father, that's what she uh, testified to me at home to say. Fire was coming out from our father in the house. And that fire was going to where my elder sister sat. So, people of God, ah, we must be serious here when you are here. We must be... The testimony is that we must be serious of what's happening here and the word of God which is coming out from the father of our house. She said that that word which the fire which was touching her transformed her and she could not uh, explain to me exactly, but this is the glory of God which is happening here. In Jesus' mighty name, I give all the glory and the honor to the almighty living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord as the service continues. Amen. Hallelujah. Jam those beautiful hands together for Jesus for those awesome testimonies. Make it louder for Jesus. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us in 2 Thessalonians 2.13 that but we are bound to give thanks unto God always praise the lord because every good and perfect gift comes from the lord it is time for thanksgiving and dedication if you know that you celebrated your birthday this month your marriage anniversary you received a new member in the family got a landed property bought a new car received the promotion please shall we be on our feet even as the choir ministers as we come to the altar to come and give thanks unto the Lord and dedicate those things unto the Lord and God's servant shall come and bless a seal of blessing on all those things if you celebrated your birthday and this is the month of a marriage anniversary you got a landed property a promotion you got um, a new you new member of the family you received you bought a new car in this place please just rush to the altar and just come and dedicate and give thanks to god even as a choir minister matter today may be your first day here but you are born in the month of october this is your birthday month please dance to the front 
or you got married in the month of October, God bless you in the month of October. Come on, let's celebrate together. of you were born in the month of October. Why I sing for them? service. Marriage anniversary, you got married in the month of October. Congratulations. Are you clapping for them? Amen. We also have some children to be dedicated in this third service. We dedicated many children first and second service. And in this third service, we still have children to dedicate. May we all stand up inside, outside. Please be on your feet. Inside, outside, be on your feet. Whether you are inside or outside, remain standing in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your children you are blessed. Thank you for those who are born in the month of October. I decree long life and prosperity for you all in the name of Jesus. The number of your days and years you shall fulfill on the earth in the name of Jesus. By the privilege of this service of anointing for long life, you will not die young in the name of Jesus. Every marriage that is being celebrated today, I decree more sweetness of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. For every car, for every house, for every miracle job, for every promotion being celebrated today, I decree they are blessed in the name of Jesus. No devil will tamper with them. Now I decree, children being dedicated, you are blessed. You shall be great. The Lord shall grant unto you the throne of your father, David. You shall be an authority in the land. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. And the people shout a louder, Amen. amen. Congratulations, you are blessed. Anoint yourself, touch the anointing oil, anoint yourself, and that's back to you. See, if you have your Thanksgiving offering, ushers will pick it from you. And for everyone in the service, the end of the month Thanksgiving offering, for those who have come with it, this time to drop it. God bless you. In Quiet now. <laughs>
salvation. In Jesus' mighty name, you can take your seats. What a wonderful day. It's an opportunity we are going to honor God with our offering. The Bible says, give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, press down. Shaken together and running over. And men shall give unto your bosom. It's a time we want to honor God with our offering. Our tithes and any other kind of kingdom investment. I believe you are set to worship God with the offering. Let us rise on our feet, raise your offering above your head And begin to worship God, appreciate Him Thank Him, everyone stand on your feet Inside, outside, we are honoring God with our offering Wherever you are, stand on your feet Inside, outside, let us honor God those who are outside, those who are inside. Father, we appreciate you. Thank you for the privilege to honor you with our offering. Accept this seed in our hand in the name of Jesus. Let it unlock financial abundance in Jesus' name. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. We shall drop our offering as the choir minister powerfully as you take your seats. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He who watches over you neither slumbers nor sleep. Amen.
Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Let everyone who is a living soul shout the loudest. Hallelujah. Somebody who is grateful to God to be alive, be on your feet, inside, outside. Be on your feet, inside, outside. And shout the loudest. Hallelujah. Whether you are within the facility or outside the gate under the tent, shout the loudest. Hallelujah. Lift up your two hands and tell God you are grateful for being alive. You have seen the end of the tenth month, not by your power. Satan said you will not be alive. He said by March you will no longer be. When March passed, he said by May. You will no longer be alive. May has passed. This is the tenth month. You are still you are still alive. Give him all the glory. Give him thanks. 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 Give him all the glory. Moon passi when they find no to me. Moon passi when they find no to me. Moon passi when they find no to me. Lift up your twins and worship him. Lift up your twins and worship him.
chapter 10 verse 10 he said neither murmur ye like they murmur in the wilderness and they were destroyed of the destroyer the reason why many people's blessings have not been released is that every day is a day of murmuring when they wake up in the morning God it's another day I've not seen my miracle I don't know what you are doing he louder and clear. You have seen ten months not by your power but by his power. Your enemy wish that you should be buried by now, but you are still alive. The enemy In case you trek here. I just stopped trekking a few years back, maybe about four years ago or three years ago. So I've trekked for about 32 years or 33 years of my life without no I know why your position has not changed. You are complaining every day. You keep telling God, see, my mate have bought cars. But I'm still trekking. But I tell our people, you can buy car, but you can't buy safe journey. Where are they, they selling, selling safe journey? Are they selling safe journey anyway? What of if you bought the car and you are dead by now? You can buy food, but you can't buy appetite. You can buy the drug to sleep, but God is the only drug to wake up. And you have woken up now for 10 months. The scripture says, let everything, Psalm 150 verse 6, Psalm 150 Verse 6, let everything that has bread, praise the Lord, not everything that has bread. You may not have bread to eat, but you have the bread of life, praise the Lord. You may not have a house, you may not have a car, but you have the bread of life. Let everything that has bread, praise the Lord. If you know you have the bread of life, shout the loudest, hallelujah. Now lift up your two hands and thank God for, uh, listen, Lord, I thank you for January. Lord, I thank you for February. Lord, I thank you for March. Mention the month one by one and thank him now for October that you are still alive. Give God thanks. Lift up your two hands and give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him all the glory. There is no like him. Give him all the glory. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Give him thanks. Give him thanks.
you for keeping everyone alive. Thank you for this end of the month Thanksgiving service. Thank you for this special service for anointing for long life. And thank you for this graduation service. Thank you for all the graduating students of the World of Faith Bible Institute. You began with them and now you are concluding it with them. And again, thank you for our third service today. This is our third service today and you have been faithful. So you be all the glory. I ask that you bless everyone this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Let everyone who came with one concern or the other live with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Make this month a month of encounter for everyone. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. I'd like you to welcome everyone sitting around you or everyone standing around you. You are welcome. Congratulations. You are welcome. Congratulate everyone. You are welcome. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are welcome. Congratulations. You are welcome. Congratulations. You are welcome. Your biggest hands right now with a loud shout. You may please be seated. Report reaching me now shows that four hundred and seventy nine. Students of the World of Faith Bible Institute are graduating in this third service. Are you so clapping for Jesus? 479 of, 479 of them. 479 of our school, a Bible school. In the BCC class, 264 people. Are you clapping for them? Oh, BCC, clap. be on your feet. BCC, are you clapping for them? Clap for this army. 46. 264 of them. 264. And the BCC is the class one that is basic certificate course of the World of Faith Bible Institute. And all of them did marvelously well. Are you clapping for them? You may please be seated. God bless you. 215 students of the World of Faith Bible Institute for the leadership certificate course SCC are graduating this afternoon. Please be on your feet. Are you clapping for them? And all of them did marvelous play work. Some of them, we couldn't find seat for them. We had to create another row. Some are still somewhere seated because the auditorium is jam-packed. Say jam-packed. Give Jesus a big, big hand as you take your seat. Amen. Briefly this afternoon, I'll be speaking on the covenant of long life. The covenant of long life. Psalm 91. Masali 91. God does not have a program for any man to die young. Mulungu alibema gans baliensa mwalire wachepere. Somebody say, hey, I've never heard this. We not sinam vireko sam tundu huyu. Thank God you are hearing it for the first time. Ziko mamozin vira spano choyamba. It is not in the program of God for anyone to die young. Mariense amarire wachepere. Psalm 91. Verse 16. 91, Dime 16. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. All those who are celebrating with the graduates, please listen to this covenant before we enter into the celebration mode. Listen to this covenant. Don't Satan is the one hiding somewhere to whisper to you every time you may die at 32 you may die at 38 is satan he said with long life 
will I satisfy him? That is when you are 70 year old God will come to you and say, are you satisfied? You say, mm -mm. He said, okay, let's go ahead. With long life, we lie satisfied. So, write it in your heart and in your note. Life is meant to be enjoyed, not to be endured. Life is meant to be enjoyed, not to be endured. With long life, we lie satisfying. I decree this afternoon, any sickness in your body that what to cut short your lifespan, I curse that sickness today in the name of Jesus. You shall not die young. I was rushing to this uh, third service when I met that my daughter that was delivered from HIV on the 12th of October. She's never been here. She's never been here. Our first time was 12th of October when my spiritual father came, Bishop David Oedepo. And when altar call was made, she rushed to the altar. She went into prostitution 1996. Out of frustration. The husband divorced her with four children to take care of. Then in frustration, she went into prostitution and contacted three diseases. One, HIV, two, syphilis, three, hepatitis B, three of them. Matenda, on the seventeenth of December, twenty ten, seventeenth of December, twenty ten, she tested positive for this three. December, twenty ten, most you and I, most and October twelfth, when she heard that a prophet was coming to the city, she rushed here. Yeah. And when the altar call was made, she gave her life to Christ. And she said, Jesus. When you are healing your people today, don't forget me. Oh. Like the prayer of a child. Jesus, when you are healing your child, don't, your children today, don't forget me. Oh. That was on the 12th. On the 13th of October, 13th of October, she went to UTH. She is a nurse. He was on the so when she got to the office, he said, I, I need to be tested again. Everybody was laughing, and including doctor. You, uh, it's Pimes. a finished case. <laughs> he said, Jesus has healed me. The yes, prophet yes. prayed for me. Yes. They tested her on the three area, negative. Yes. Negative. Yes. For the first time. Seek your yamba. It is not sickness that kill people. It is ignorance that destroy people. You don't die because of sickness. Many people die because of ignorance. My people perish because they lack knowledge. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 6. My people perish because of lack of knowledge, not because of sickness. Many of the sicknesses some people had in their body and has taken them to the grave. There are people who have it the last 40 years and they are still alive. With long life, we lie satisfied. Yes, with long life, we lie satisfied. In case you didn't hear me before, I said last Sunday, in case you are just coming, I said, if you don't want to live long, don't come here. And Today. So in case you don't want to live long, stand up now, be going. Because after this service, you will not die young anymore. Can I hear a louder amen? Every spirit of untimely death in your family is cursed in the name of Jesus. I am fond of this story. 1997, I watched three of my relations dying. 
Another one was sick. Dead. The other one, no sickness. Just passed on. Three. 1997. I was about concluding my first degree. And I got home, I saw everybody mourning. I had given my life to Christ that time. But I was still ignorant of some things. So I saw everybody crying. And I went to a corner. I was three years old in the faith. I just gave my life to Christ about three years. 1994. So I went to a corner and I said, Jesus, nobody dies again in this family without my permission. Like the prayer of a child. Nobody dies again in this family without my permission. I saw it as a done deal between me and Jesus. And we watched for five, six years. It was after five years, I went to the village. My grandmother, at the age of 103, they were trying to help her to the toilet. Then I said in my heart, I said, ah. This trouble on this woman is too much. This woman should go now. Then the Holy Spirit reminded me. He said, you said nobody dies again here without your permission. Ah, I said, including this old woman. He said, we have been following that instruction since the last five years. Ah. I said, Lord. Allow this old woman to go. And a few days, she's been sick for a month, but a few days after I said that, she passed on. You can become an authority in your family. This was the woman delivered from HIV, October 12th. See I, I never knew she's still in the service. I was just walking around and I saw her. Now. Jesus liberated her. Whatever sickness is in your body this afternoon, I stand as the mouthpiece of Jehovah. I decree the destruction of that sickness in the name of Jesus. You shall not die. The covenant of long life. Let me show it to you. If Abraham is your father, check it. Genesis chapter 25. Genesis 25. Verses 7 and 8. Abraham lived for 175 years. Genesis 25. Genesis 25. Verses 7 and 8. Abraham lived for 175, not 75 years, 175 years. Genesis 25, 7 and 8. Verse 7 and 8. Isaac, the son, the son of Abraham, Isaac, lived for 180 years. How many years? 180 years. How many years? Genesis 35, verses 28 to 29. Genesis 35, number 28, figure 29. Genesis chapter 35, Genesis verses 25, 28 to 29. Lima 28, Lima 28, Abra Abraham 175 years, Isaac 180 years. Isaac, Isaac came back to Jacob. Isaac, Jacob lived for 147 years. Jacob, 147. 147 years. Genesis 47, verse 28. Genesis 47, check it. If you have your Bible, check it. Genesis 47, verse 28. Genesis 47, 28. Now Jacob gave back to Joseph. Jacob was 110 years. Joseph was 110 years. Genesis chapter 50, verse 26. Genesis 15, 26. Now checking the life of the prophet. 
Prophet Moses lived for 120 years. The Bible says he could still read at 120 years. His eyes was never dim. Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 7. Deuteronomy 34, verse 7. Deuteronomy 34, verse 7. Now check all of these people. Not one of them was less than 100. Where are you going at 33? So it is anti covenant to be talking about death at 30. You are just 30. Say, hey, when I die, when I die, when are you going to die? You shall not die young in the name of Jesus. I, I brought the package of long life to this place. Your covenant with death is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Psalm 74 verse 20. Have respect unto the covenant, O Lord. For the dark places of the earth are full of the habitation of cruelty. Psalm 74 verse 20. There is wickedness on the earth. Psalm 74 verse 20. There is wickedness on the earth. There are people who are wicked. They just look at you and look for how you will crash. I've heard of stepmother who went to join Occult to be able to kill some people in the family. There are people who have become witches today so that they can do evil. But if you are a covenant man, they can't catch you. The whole world lied in wickedness. First John chapter 5, verse 19. But we are of God. Today, Every witch, say every witch, shout it every witch, today every witch, every witch, in Ethiopia, Liberia, Nigeria, eh? Ghana, anywhere, including those who are hearing me now, if they are hanging anywhere, they see me now and they say, ah, if not that there is fire around them. That is the same way fire is surrounding you. Witches and wizards should fear you. Any witch that does not fear me will die and become a pepper soup. Don't say amen. Just say yes, 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 yes. It's not a prayer. Any witch that trespass around any church member here. Hmm? Say prophetic dagger. We don't we don't use God, we don't use what? Just a word, authority. He says, suffer not a witch to live. Exodus 22, verse 18. Don't allow Exodus a witch to be alive. 18. Exodus 22, verse 18. When you see them, use the word of your mouth to keep them. Decree that in the name of Jesus, 24 hours, you are dead. If you don't repent, dead. If now, uh, any witch that is ganging up against you, if they don't repent in the next one hour, they are dead in the name of Jesus. That is, they have just 60 minutes to repent. 60 minutes. After 60 minutes, if they don't repent, the thunder of heaven will scatter them in the name of Jesus. Because you walk in the covenant of long life. Although there is wickedness on the earth, but righteousness is your security against wickedness. That's why this is like the part 5C of unveiling the wonders of sanctification, unveiling the wonder of 
sanctification part 5c and the focus is the covenant of long life righteousness is your security if you are not bitter you are not stealing. You are not sleeping with the wife of your friend and you are smiling to him. There is no way you can die early. It is iniquity that makes people to die early. It is evil work that makes people to die early. Righteousness is your security against all wickedness. Can I hear louder, amen? amen? Let's read some scripture together. Look at it. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, righteousness is your security against wickedness. Look at another neighbor and say, neighbor, righteousness is your security against wickedness. It is wickedness that cuts short people's life. But when you live in righteousness, you are free from wickedness. Proverbs chapter 12. Proverbs chapter 12. If they are there, say yes, yes, yes. Proverbs chapter 12, we look at verse 21. There shall no evil happen to the just. Can I hear a louder, amen? But the wicked shall be filled with what? Trouble. Mischief means trouble. The wicked shall be filled with trouble. He said, No evil will move near the righteous man, the just. Verse 28. 12:28. In the way of righteousness is life. In the pathway thereof, there is no what? There is no what? Shout it. There is no what? He said, in the pathway of righteousness, there is no death. Ask your neighbor, do you want to live long? Then live in righteousness. Righteousness brings the reward of divine protection. Righteousness brings the reward of divine protection. Psalm 18. Look at Psalm 18. Righteousness brings the reward of divine protection. There could be people seated here today who change figure every week in their office. There could be people sitting here today who hide file in their offices. There could be people sitting here today who steal from their offices. Even if they don't catch you, you are cutting short on your lifespan. May you repent today. Are you in Psalm 18? Masari Ma Look at verse 19. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. And verse 20. He said, the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands at he recompensed me. When you live in righteousness, you are rewarded with long life. Proverbs chapter 14. 
Every wickedness passion against you shall bow at your gate today in the name of Jesus. That is when they shoot the arrow of wickedness at you. When it gets to your gate, it will go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 14. Everybody read with me. Proverbs chapter 14. Look at it. Proverbs 14. Miambo 14. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 19. Are you there? Ndima 19, kotafikapo. If you are there, say yes, yes, yes. Are you there? Nifukamani inde, inde. Proverbs 14, 19. If you are there, we are reading together. Guess it now. Tiberenge pamozi, miambo 14, 19. One, two, go. The evil bow before the good, and the wicked at the gate of the righteous. The evil bow before the good. Now look up everybody. There are people you may know in this world that the more they try to do evil against them, the more they are triumphing is because they are good. The evil bow to the good. And he said, the wicked, they bow at the gate of the righteous. We salute you. We can't catch you. We can't push you down. Whatever they are scheming against you, as you live in righteousness, I decree a divine escape for you in the name of Jesus. Who is he that will arm you? If you are a follower of that which is good, First Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Who is he that will arm you? If you are a follower of that which is good, first Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Petro Yamba Mutua 3 Ndimia 13. So righteousness works better than charm for protection. The charm that you have for protection is the reason why Satan is troubling you because charm is Satan's property. Live righteous. Live a straight life. Live clean. There are people now that when they see money, their body will be shaking like this. Money. money. The lips will be shaking. All the body. Hey, hey, what, what, what are you saying? Money. Just ordinary money. There are people that when they see money, they don't know how to say no. It's yes. 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 Will you like to drink beer with me? Yes. Will you like to go to party with me? Yes. They are yes, yes people. Yes, yes people. His ability for maturity. The evil bow before the good. When I travel, I don't panic. When I sleep, I don't panic. I sleep like a baby. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yet, if any witch is here, me now you come near the place, fire is burning. I have nothing to be afraid of. I am walking the way I'm walking. I am dressing the way I'm dressing. I'm talking the way I'm talking. I am carrying myself the way I'm carrying myself because I could see another 75 years added to this age. That's how I carry myself. This Oh, some of you, if you look at my eyeball, you say this one should be around 22 or 23. Uh, when, when you see come back 20 years, you say, mm, it's looking like 25 now. I'm looking the way I'm looking because of where I'm going. And some are just 34 now. They are already looking 94 because they don't want to go far. They say, walk fast now. <laughs> they will even say in the house, why is he saying now? 
I walk any how I like. Yeah. When they at the airport to receive our father, <laughs> when <laughs> he was arriving, <laughs> and three of us walk up to the tarmac there, to the mouth of the aircraft, and I told the men, come on, the door is open, we are already late, we are at the airport, we are on the tarmac, but the man must, our father must say, come out and he look he can't find any one of us so i said can you run come on let's run baga baga and that justin was one of them <laughs> we began to run and as soon as he stood at the door of the aircraft you could see a day sign day. of relief on his eyeball okay my children are here wow. don't be running like 92 where you are just 22 don't be sleeping in the service when you are just you are just 30 30 i'm sleeping like 105 you are just 30 30 here you are all the cells of your body should wake up to be honest that's how some bad teller we sleep and sleep good things we pass them <laughs> by. <laughs> and they will come to the office of the pastor. I don't know what is happening. I can't find any sister in this. Ah, when the sisters were passing, you were sleeping. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, you better wake up. Wake up, oh, wake up. Wake up, wake up. All the headers here, their eyes are still open. At How can 22 be sleeping? See all the headers. Eyes open. At 22, you should get angry. Okay, I'm speaking to, I've been speaking in the three services, and I lay my back 3.05 this morning, and I open my eyes 5.05. I set my alarm two hours. I said, boy, you have two hours to sleep, and I've been up. I'm I'm driving myself this way because I still feel the blood inside me is fresh. If you think the blood inside you is old, you will get old quick. Because the Wake up, wake up. When they say you are 32, you shouldn't be looking like 82. He said, meet my friend. He's just 32 years old. He said, ah, this one. No. At duty. So carry yourself, eh? Carry it's yourself. Again, wake up, we know. Walk smart. And then we know. Behave smart. Stand into we know. Dance smart. Vinani we know. Jump smart. Jumbani we know. Drop your offering smart, not. Began to bury a turn. We know, we know. If you are in the Austrian department, do the Austrian smartly. Gandhi Morandi, I was on the Ponka and Mosum, which is in those and Mamsangam Sanga. You will not die now. I say you are not permitted to die now. Can I hear you louder? Amen. Amen. Apart from living a righteous life, number two, before we close right now, how do I live a long life? Number one, living a righteous life. Number two, prophetic reference. That's what, I, that's what I've called it prophetic reference for you to live long you must put the servants of God where they belong now, may I start by saying it is not only your church, your church that is from heaven it is not only Winners Chapel that is from heaven. Every other church. The church you came from, whether it's Winner or anywhere, it is not the only church on the earth. There are servants of God in every church. And they must be equally respected. Don't just respect your pastor. Respect every anointed servant of the Most High. Never use your mouth against anyone that is called and elected by Jehovah. Because their price can be very serious. 
Don't say God has not called him the way I'm looking at it. Are you his caller? Were you there when God called him? Moses passed off three million people. I said that in the first service. He left three million, people, three million people out of Egypt. And immediately he let, let them out. They began to find fault in him. See now. We don't know why he has brought us here. And the Bible says he led the three million people. Not one of them was feeble. All the offense was found in their hearts. Please open your hair for the next 15 minutes, I'll tidy up for 15 minutes. Listen to me. It is not only fornication that cuts short people's life. It is not only stealing that cuts short people's life. Not giving honor to the anointed also cut short people's life. Can you imagine? Elisha, freshly anointed. Great man of God. Elisha he had double of what was in him, Elijah. And, now, and it was very fresh. And, and, and as, soon he was, as soon as he was coming, children, 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 little children, 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 children. They were not adults. They began to mock him. God, that boy. God, that, and he looked at them. And he cursed them in the name of his God. And two Shibia came from the wood. And defiled them. That is, God didn't say they are children and leave them. Those children had great destiny. But the mouth. God showed their destiny. If you are two years old in our home, there are things you must never say. Two. Mm -hmm. When you say two years, we carry your hand. Two finger. They don't talk like that. They oh, don't talk like that. Don't say it's a child. A child for what? There is a way you must never talk to your children. Your children are not your children. There is a way you must never talk in your life. Aaron and Miriam. Pick up Moses. And they also thought we are servants of God like him. What does he have more than us? Numbers chapter 12. And God called all of them out. Numbers chapter 12. Verse 1. And God called all of them out. Verse 1. And God called all of them out. And Miriam returned with leprosy. And Moses said, God, please, Joe. God said, clear from this. And God said, clear from this. He said, if there be a prophet among you, I speak to them in dreams. But Moses, my servant, is not like any one of you. I talk to him mouth to mouth, face to face. And are you not afraid? He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his Let me show you some scriptures that will give you caution. He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth he his life. Asunga kamakake, asunga omoe wake. Ecclesiastes chapter five and six. Mlali kimutwa five in demia six. He said, don't say before an angel that it is an error. Whatever you utter with your mouth. Zonse zemlang kandi kamakan. The reward of it will return back to you. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and 6. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thy hands? The work of your hands shall not be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a louder amen? Amen. Prophets are not normal people, so they speak abnormal things. Okay, a word of prophecy has come forth now. In 14 days, Miracle was he second or third service? Eh? Second service. If care is not taken and you wink your nose, this man can lie. 
Even if the man forgive you. The one that is seated there. May he forgive you. People have winked their nose like that. And the nose begin to wink 24 7. Because of what they did against the anointed. Elijah said, Second King chapter 7, by this time tomorrow, there shall be abundance in the city of Samaria. And one man was there. He said, Even if God opened the windows of heaven, will it happen? And Elijah said, who spoke there? He says, me. We have been this problem for years. Or for some months now. And we have been trying to arrange food. You came here with your bad mouth to say, by this time tomorrow. Are you trying to say we have not been working? By this time tomorrow. You don't know what it means to put food all around there. And the prophet said, it will happen. But you will see it with your eyes. But your mouth will not taste it. I guess he did like this. That on that 24 hour, according to the word of the prophet, abundance came, food came. Then the man stood in the midst of food and he was pushing people. Hey, go, go. Be on, be on a queue. You collect. You collect. The crowd pushed him down because they needed food. They pushed him down and they trampled him on their feet. He died by the word of the prophet. Prophets are not normal people, so they speak abnormal things. And the so in these great prophetic days, be careful how you use your mouth. There are many people in the church today who don't know the source of their problem. They don't know the source of the problem. The problem is there, but they don't know how it came. One of how it came is having no regard for the anointed. First Peter chapter 3, verse 10. Peter chapter 3, verse 10. These are not the common sins pastor preach about, but I'd like you to know using your mouth against the anointed is one of the greatest sins in this world. And if anyone has done it in ignorance, I decree that the mercy of God speak for you today in the name of Jesus. First Peter chapter 3 verse 10 First Peter 3.10 He said, For he that will love life, he that love long life, he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guy. Control your mouth. Control your mouth. Psalm 34 verse 13. Control your mouth. First Peter 3 10. Psalm 34. Verse 13. Put a control on your lips. Psalm 34 verse 13. Keep thy tongue from evil. And thy lips from speaking guile. Keep thy tongue because he that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. Oh. Keep thy tongue. He that keepeth his life, I mean, keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. Keep thy tongue. Proverbs 13 3. Let's read Psalm 141 first. Psalm 141. Verse 3. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. These are the prayers we need to pray. Put a watch on my lips. Lord, don't allow my lips to be moving anyhow. Psalm 141, verse 3. Proverbs 13 verse 3. He that 
keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. Proverbs 13, verse 3. He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. You shall not be destroyed. Can I hear it louder? Amen. And like I said, your church is not the only church. I'm not just talking about the pastor of your church. Anyone called by Jehovah must be referenced. This was the sin committed by the multitude in the wilderness. And the destroyer came to destroy them. They murmur against God and against Moses. The reason why some people are disgraced in life today is because they don't have regard for higher grace. That's why they are disgraced. You can even find some churches where some decide to lie against the anointed. It's the reason for the rupturing of destinies. There are people who use the name of their pastor to lie. These are not sins that police will arrest you for. Are you hearing now? Yes, when you steal, yes, police will arrest you. Yes, but these yes, are yes, hidden yes, things, destroying people, very hidden, and yes, destroying people. Yes, yes, very silent sin, yet destroying many people. Yes, A few people gather together at the headquarters of our church and. They, they began to talk against Bishop Boedeko. They said, let's look for how to plot evil against him and kill him. The day they started the meeting, the chairman of the meeting, his firstborn, fell down, he wasn't sick, and died at the age of 40. The man they were talking against didn't hear, but God had it. One of them became mad on it. Let me diagnose to you some of the problem of your life that you can't understand. Some of it are traceable to this thing. Standing where you ought not to stand. Saying what you ought not to say. Listening to what you ought not to listen to. I don't have two life, so I don't listen to that kind of thing. That is that and Korah and Abraham, they spoke against Moses. They didn't talk against God, and God got angry. God, God, got, God, angry. God got angry. Aaron and Miriam, servants of God, like Moses, they spoke against Moses, and God got angry. How do I escape? Watch your company. Watch your company. Whosoever is not adding to you is removing from you. Watch your company. Watch the people you talk to. If you want to be blessed. Watch the content of discussion. Watch where you go to. Watch your attitude. Hallelujah. At the beginning of this month, I said there are three major sins that a man commits. One, the sin of immorality. Number two, I said the sin of corruption, stealing. And three, I said rebellion. 
These three major sins take people down to the grave direct. So whosoever want to live long runs away from them. If you run away from immorality and you have not run away from theft and corruption and changing figure in your office, you are not free. If you run away from stealing and you don't run away from rebellion, you are not delivered. So you must watch your life against these three things. By watching the company you keep. And I'll give you these seven things. When you are about becoming rebellious in a church, watch out for these seven signs, seven of them. When you are about becoming rebellious, when the sin of rebellion is tempting you, you pass through these seven classes or stages. It all begins silently. Silently, you will not know it. When a person starts Becoming rebellion, it will be independent. That's number one. Independent spirit. When instruction is passed in church, it will no longer listen to it. When the pastor say we are fasting on Wednesday, he will fast on Monday. I will not join them. When the pastor say let's gather for a meeting, on Thursday, he will come and do his own prayer meeting on Wednesday so that you people will not meet him there. He will go away. Independent spirit. So when you find people either in a unit or in a church doing things on their own, not cooperating with the program of the church, they are going. They are in class one. They are going. This is number one sign that you are to watch when you start becoming independent. When your pastor talks to you and his word doesn't count again, whether in this church or another church, you have not gone so far, so your case is still easy. You are in class one. But if you don't control yourself from class one, you fall into class two, offense. Now you are offended when you move from independent class and you are not controlled, you are offended. Number three, from offense, you move to being passive. Nothing concerns you in the church. When they are doing things in your unit, you won't join them again. Whether they are doing it right or wrong, you just hold your hand. These like are this. signs of rebellion. Class one, be independent. You are not doing anything. With the leaders of the church, you are just on your own. When they give instruction, you will do the contrary. If that is not control, you move from independent to offense. You are just offended in everything they are doing. And from class two, you move to class three. Passive. They say, ushers, please come here. They are calling you people, ushers. They are calling, and he's a member of the ushering department. They are calling you. People. They are calling you people. They say, deacons, come here. Ah, all of you, deacon, and he's a deacon. All of you, deacon, they are calling you. That's he's in class three. Number four, from class three of being passive, you become critical. 
you now begin to find fault in everything that is being done in the church you have moved from class 3 now you are going to class 4 when somebody climbed the altar and said shout hallelujah said, see how he's shouting hallelujah now. everything they do you find fault these are signs of rebellion against spiritual authority you need to know it so that you won't fall into it when the pastor said you shall prosper, I said, why is he always talking about prosperity? This is our pastor. Okay, live a righteous life. Don't steal. He said, oh, you know who he's talking against? One of our brothers, they say something happened in this office. They find fault in everything. Finding fault. Class one, independent spirit. He's just going on his own. He's a gentle spirit. But he's already rebellious. Class 2, offense. Class 3, passive. He doesn't join them in doing anything in the church. But he will be asking people, what are they doing? They say we should do this. Okay, you will go and do it. Class 4, critical. Find the fault. When somebody carry your brain basket, say, see how she's walking. Is that how an day worker should walk? Yet, she will not do in her own case. But find them fault. Then from class 4 to class 5. Pastors, class 5. Eh? Only him is reading the book. Political stage. From critical yeah. stage, they go to class 5. Political. And, my brother. Have you look at the way our pastors is doing things nowadays? Do you know he's doing it because of this? Just to make you believe with his own idea. That's political stage. Absalom was found in that stage. He was always at the gate of the palace. Absalom. His father was a king. And always at the gate. He, everybody coming to the palace, he will tell you, the king is very busy. He can't see you people now. But if I were made king, I would be better. Political stage. You know what happened at the political stage? They look for the ideas and the philosophies that people believe in. They use it to catch them. Don't you think our pastor is talking too much about righteousness nowadays? Yes. We have to watch it. Okay, what do you think about this way? He will just tell the usher, come here, now. <laughs> then you hear, ah, me too, I've been watching it too. <laughs> That's political stage. Don't you think our pastor is preaching long nowadays? It's true, it's true, it's true. Because they know you like it. There are politicians also in the church. They are in every unit. They go to the choir. You mean you like the leadership style of Pastor Chirambo? Then you are not totally really. Tell me what you don't like there. Then when you mention one, they will now create more problems for you. Have you seen this? Look at this. Look at this. Political stage. Number six, Pastor, reception, deception stage. Is me so I'm a At deception stage, Satan will tell you, in fact, you are as anointed as your pastor. Deception. In fact, you are don't you see the other time you pray for somebody that was sick? So, so he went to testify. That means you are as anointed as the man. Eh? That's number six, deception stage. That was the problem of Judas. Satan entered into him. And he sold his master. Deception stage. And I said jokingly to our pastors of recent, I said, look, when Jesus was preaching in his lifetime, he never addressed 20,000 people. 
But we have prophet bishops addressing 20,000 people today. Jesus only prayed for two or three dead people and they came back to life. And those me, we will pray for 21 and they came back to life. Does that make Smith Wiggus what? Greater than Jesus. From the increase in the life of Jesus, he has received. And Jesus said, The work that I do, you will do also. Greater work than this. Deception stage classes is a war stage. Once you get there, nothing enters your ear in the church. When the pastor is preaching, you'll be preaching your own. You'll be showing in the Bible. See, go to hospital. When the pastor said, Go to Genesis, he said, My brother, go to hospital. You will see there. He's got more revelations more than the pastor. Deception stage. After classes, class seven is obvious. Open rebellion. Then you confront your pastor. Hey! You can even point finger at him on the face because we have gone through class one to six. Now, why have I decided to go through this? This is a sickness that many people suffer in every church, not only here, in every church, silently. And Satan takes advantage of it to destroy people. From independent stage to offense class from offense to passivity from that to critical stage from critical stage to political stage then six deception stage then seven open rebellion before you see anybody reacting against an elder in the church he has passed through these stages. Before you see, see a young brother in the church looking at an head and say, Hey, you can't do that to me. He has passed through class one. He was in class seven. Before you see a worker in the church pointing to his pastor on the face, he has gone through six stages. Watch it. Precious children of the most high, whatever you are becoming. Never bite the finger that's feeding. My father said to me, and I closed, Bishop David Oedipo, when he came, he said, your connection, your loyalty, your faithfulness has brought you all of this blessing. He said, maybe, my daughter, maybe you will have died by talking to my wife, except that your husband is connected, and you are also faithful. Maybe you, you wouldn't have a, any child forever. But see what your faithfulness has brought. It has brought fruitfulness. Your husband is faithful. You are also faithful. He said the day you disconnect, the fruit will cease. It's not like, hey, you shall prosper. If you do all of these things and you watch against all these things, you will prosper the way I am prospering. You, just you won't pray for it. it. You just prosper. Friday, Friday morning, I was away from the office. I was doing some things, and in the office there, two people were waiting for, and they called. And we've got a check here. I said, find somebody in the church to give it to. For church or me? He said, for you, okay. My name is on it. He said, yes, okay. Find somebody in the church to give it to. Find the staff. I'm not living for check. I'm mm. living for God. That's, I, that's, I wasn't there. Check were looking for me. Goodness and mercies shall follow you. And when I came, they delivered the two check. All the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If you walk in the footsteps of the prophet, you never walk in dryness forever. I don't know dryness. What cash is? To you is not what it is to me. What money is to you is not. Now, God has made my life so easy. I cracked this joke. I said, The way my wife, I mean, the day my wife was going to deliver, I was looking for the money. That is all the cash in the house was not in my hand, it was in the hand of the woman who has gone to the hospital. So I said, Where have you kept the money? Where? And they are my money. 
Where? There is a text so, so please. This way you carry all your money all around. A old man, family man like you, in the what box, say? all your money. They don't know where you kept your money. If you die, they will spend that money without you. We don't know who you give your money to. Your this wife can't benefit. Your children are suffering. Ah, who do you give the money to? And the way you are not a blessing to your family, that's why the blessing has stopped moving. That's why it has stopped flowing to your family. Get connected. Yes, I agree. You are not fornicating. Good. You are not stealing. Good. How much do you regard the anointed? How much? These are not things that, hey, police will arrest you for. Why are you talking against your person? No, they will leave you. If you steal, they will capture you. You sleep with another man's wife, they arrest you. But if you talk against the anointed, they are okay. Freedom of speech. But it is freedom at times to go to the grave. You will not die forever in the name of Jesus. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. He that keepeth his mouth. Now see the vow. See the vow. I don't know how many people can take it, but this is the vow my wife and I we have taken. That day, this mouth will go against Bishop David Oedipo. If it remains a day that it will happen, God, don't let that day meet me on the earth. That day I will use this mouth against Bishop Oedipo, my spiritual father. God, don't let me see that day. That day should not meet me on the earth. That is like saying, Lord, if I will speak against Oedipo tomorrow, kill me today. It's a vow. And if you don't want to die, you'll be very careful. You know, the anointed has on one hand five fingers, the left hand five fingers. They have one head, two ears. All the number of the part of your body is the same with the anointed. So there is likely going to be familiarity. What does the man have that I don't have? He has one head, I has one head. He has two ears, has two ears. But the grace that they carry is what you respect. It's what you reference. Righteousness generate or guarantee a long life. Also, having prophetic reverence for the anointing guarantee a long life you will not die young Lord watch my mouth anoint my lips anoint my ears anoint my thoughts don't allow my heart to go wrong against my root if you disconnect from your root you may lose your fruit. i like you to rise up as you receive grace today. Everything I've ever done in ignorance against the anointed, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Are you praying for yourself? Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Inside, outside, rise up on your feet and pray for yourself. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. I'm going to train to fundo. Anoint my lips to speak the right words. Anoint my tongue to speak the right words. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Whosoever sins you forgive, he says, forgive him. Now lift up your two hands. I decree under the unction of the Holy Spirit for everyone gather inside or outside or outside the gate. For every sin you have ever committed with your mouth, I decree the mercy of God prevail for you today in the name of Jesus. No one here will die young in the name of Jesus. I decree the grace of long life imparted to Today, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of rebellion in anyone's life is cast eternally in the name of Jesus. You are free forever in Jesus' mighty name. 
David a king. David and Fumo. At the same time, the scripture said a prophet. And one day he was dancing. One of his wives, you know, he married many wives. That doesn't give you a license to go and marry another wife. We are under new dispensation. If the old covenant didn't have a problem, there won't be a need for the new covenant. One of his wife, the daughter of Saul, Micah, as David was dancing, he was mocking him and when the king came back he said how glorious was the king of Israel today who uncovered himself before little little children he said you were Isaiah. dancing like a baby like As a baby like this a king. you are not even ashamed and David said I'm dancing before the king of kings who remove your father Saul and put me there that is your father got it wrong I got it right that was the only thing David said he didn't curse her but the bible said till death he never, she never had a child she was the only woman in the bible without child by the anointing of the holy spirit today whatever curse you have inflicted upon yourself before i decree they are broken today in the name of jesus now i leave you for the next two minutes lord touch my tongue with a coal of fire pray for yourself right now lord touch my tongue with a coal of fire grace to speak the right words lord i receive it grace to speak the right words are you praying right now pray for yourself grace to speak the right words i receive that grace today thank you lord jesus in jesus mighty name every head bow and every ear is closed give me the privilege of reconnecting you back to your maker today maybe you are outside or you are inside to him today it's never late i want to specially bless you you want to say yes to jesus you want to accept him as your lord and personal savior you want to reconnect back to your maker maybe you have given your life to christ before but you basleted and you want to return today it's never late every eyes closed and every head bow just put your right hand on your chest and i'll pray with you right now put your right hand on your chest inside outside you want to receive jesus into your life afresh put your right hand on your chest god bless you god bless you i can see you god bless you put your right hand on your chest god bless you inside outside at the back now begin to say after me say lord jesus say lord jesus i confess you today as my lord and personal savior forgive me i write my name in the book of life thank you lord jesus in Jesus' mighty name. If you pray that prayer with me, quickly rush to the altar here. I want to bless you from the front, from the back, from the middle, from outside. Quickly come to the altar. There's a special blessing for you here. Yeah? Jesus is waiting for you. God bless you. Come inside. They are coming inside. God bless you. The choir will be leading us as they are coming. Quickly come and receive your blessing. As many that pray that prayer with me, you are receiving Jesus into your life. You are dedicating your life to Jesus. Keep coming as the choir will be singing. Keep coming, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Keep coming, very quickly.
this second call I'm making as we round up the month of sanctification, don't allow God's visitation to pass you by. Maybe you notice something is wrong in your life. You discover something is missing in your spiritual life. You discover you lack joy. You feel as if Jesus is no longer in your heart. You are feeling as if something is missing in your spiritual life. You can't pick on what it is. But you just discover your life is empty of the life of Jesus. It could be one of the signs of backsliding. I'd like you to return to the altar. If you are in the congregation, you just discover something is missing in your spiritual life. You may be helped, you can be helped this afternoon. Wherever you are, from outside, from inside, quickly join these people before I pray with them right now. From inside, from outside, you can still join them. Choir sing as they are coming. Quickly join them. It's never late. You can still join them. It's never late. You can still join them. Yeah. If you are coming, come fast, come fast. If you are coming, very fast, very fast. Keep coming. It's never late. You can join them. this great harvest this afternoon. Now lift up your right hand, every one of you in front, lift up your right hand above your head. Now begin to say after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Shout it, Lord Jesus. I miss you in my heart. And I know you love me. I also know that I'm a sinner. Lord, forgive me. From today, write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Keep those hands up. Heavenly Father, your grace has brought these precious people. Let the same grace preserve them in the name of Jesus. I decree right now the power of sin is destroyed in your life in the name of Jesus. Sin shall no longer have dominion over you. You are free in Jesus' mighty name. Right at the altar here, you'll be anointed for long life. If you came with your bottles of oil, everyone lift it up right now. If you came with your bottles of oil, lift it up. And in case you didn't come with any bottles of oil, the anointing oil will be made available. You'll be anointed for long life. You shall no longer die young in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, breathe upon these bottles right now in the name of Jesus. Make this oil holy anointed oil in the name of jesus father let your grace rest upon them pastors please come here let your grace rest upon them in the name of jesus as you are anointed the power of sin is broken as you are anointed the plague of untimely death is destroyed in the name of jesus receive grace for long life no more untimely death no more infant death no more premature no more miscarriages in jesus mighty name choir sing as everyone is getting anointed, anoint these people from the altar. And hold it. As, soon, as, as soon as you are anointed, your kingdom friends are waiting here for you. They will need you. All of you at the altar. I praise right now.
Hallelujah. By this anointing, every spirit of untimely death in your family is nullified in the name of Jesus. You shall live for as long as you want in the name of Jesus. Revelation 1 18 he said, I, I am he that was alive and I was dead and I live forever and I have the keys of hell and death. Jesus said, He has the key of hell and death. So, the key to the grave is in the hand of Jesus. He cannot open the grave for you at 30. Because Jesus has the key. No witch will push you to the grave. In the name of Jesus. You are free forever. In Jesus mighty name. That is in Revelation chapter 1 verse 18. It is thanksgiving time for the graduates. Are you clapping for Jesus? On the 1st of September 1986, God spoke to the president of our mission, my spiritual father, Bishop David Oedepo. He said, I will, through this ministry, raise the foundations of other, other ministries. I will, through this ministry, raise the foundations of other ministries. First of September 1986. And that gave birth to Word of Faith Bible Institute, the Bible, Bible School arm of the, this ministry, which is the training arm. It's my joy to let you know that by this number, over 2,000 has graduated in Lusaka Center this year. Over 2,000 students have graduated in Lusaka Center this year. To God be all the glory. Can I hear a louder amen? Amen. Right now, all the graduates will come and celebrate Jesus. They dance to the front. And all those who have come to celebrate with them, find your way to the auditorium. If you are graduating, thou must dance from wherever you are. All those who have come to celebrate with them, carry your flower and whatever you have come with and come to meet your guests and line up behind your guests. Line up behind your guests. Hallelujah.
is the grace upon Bishop David so Oyedepo. By this anointing, all of you graduating today, it is imparted into your life in the name of Jesus. Grace that cure madness. Grace that destroy every form of wickedness in the land. Receive that grace today in the name of Jesus. Grace that raises the dead. Grace that cure HIV. Wherever you get to, every force of wicked will crash for yourself. You are anointed to be an authority over every demon and devil. Which is we obey you? I say, which is we obey you? Wizard, we bow to you. Evil, we bow to you. HIV will be cured by your hands. Whatever sickness, we suffer disruption in your hands. I release you all of the graduates today the as men as and women yes, my of exploits in your generation in the name of Jesus. I release you as a shining star to your generation in the name of Jesus. I release you today as great ministers of the gospel as many of you that are calling to ministry your testimony will be greater than our own in the name of Jesus your ministry will touch multitude and lives shall be transformed in the name of Jesus August Augusti. Year 2000. It's 2000. It's just 11 years from now. I did my BCC August 2000. And I ran BCC, SCC, LDC throughout the year. And I have never recovered. I had a visitation of an Number. angel during my Bible school, Peter Mosranga Bible school who look at me and say have this cup and drink it and from today your tongue is anointed that angel told me he said anything you say shall be established Jesus visited me in form yes, of an angel. So I decree the same order of visitation for you in the name of Jesus. Standing in the shoe of my father, the prophet over this commission, the God who spoke to Bishop David Oedeko for 18 hours, that is the same God you shall encounter from today in the name of Jesus. You will get to where demons are and they shall be screaming. Hey! You are anointed to the teeth in the name of Jesus. Even your saliva anointed. The breath of your nose anointed. Your full steps anointed. Your jacket anointed. Hallelujah. I believe all the graduating students are in. Pastor, you're going to have first. Let's know the students who did well. You may all be seated. Thank you. Good evening, all of you. Hallelujah. Good news time. I take this honor and privilege given to me by the director of Word of Faith Bible Institute Lusaka Campus Pastor Victor Deneji to read the names of the, some of the students best students and he will give them their words we are going to start 
with the best students in BCC. Zambia mochita buino wam BCC yamba. The overall best student in BCC class. Mochita buino yambira mu BCC is George Tulisha. George. Are you clapping for him as he's coming? George Tulisha just come. Clapping for him if you're happy about it. A big gun, a big gun, a big gun, a big gun. Come on a big gun together for Jesus. Second best student is Tina Banda Ngulube. Tina Banda Ngulube. Where is she? The more you clap, the more she's coming. Tina Banda Ngulube. Tina Banda Ngulube. The third best student as we wait for her. Is Gladys Shunamite Kamanja? Gladys Shunamite Kamanga. Gladys Shunamite Kamanja. Gladys Shunamite Kamanga. She's there. She's coming. Come on, a big and a big and a big and together for Jesus. The third best student in BCC class. Are you? Continuing clapping for Jesus. A big and a big and together for Jesus. We are now going to the LCC class. The best overall student in LCC class is Edgar Mwanza. Edgar Mwanza. Edgar Mwanza, a big gun together for Jesus. A big gun together for Jesus for him. The second best student is Kathy Mulea. Kathy Mulea, where are you? Come on, a big gun together for Jesus. Kathy Mulea. Come on, a big gun together for Jesus. The third best student. It's Titus Nkoma. Titus Nkoma. Titus Nkoma, where are you? Titus Nkoma. Come on, a big hand together for Jesus. Are you clapping for him? We are going to the next category. Well-behaved students. Well-behaved students in BCC. We have Buchizia B. Soko. Buchizia B. Soko. Buchizia B. Soko. Buchizia B. Soko. Female. Well-behaved female students in BCC class is Buchizia B. Soko. Are you rejoicing with that? Come on, a big hand together for Jesus. And the well-behaved male student in BCC class is Tobias Sakala. Brother Tobias Sakala. Are you rejoicing with him? Brother Tobias Sakala. Tobias Sakala. In the LCC class, the well-behaved male student is Brother Mike Zulu. Brother Mike Zulu. Mike Zulu, where are you? Come on, a big gun together for Jesus. Brother Mike Zulu, well behaved students. And the well behaved female student is Sister Martha Nirenda. Sister Martha Nirenda. Well behaved female students. Well behaved female students. Are you clapping for her? Rejoice with her, rejoice with her. And finally, in the last category, we shall recognize our class representatives. That's the class prophets and prophetess. In the BCC class, the class prophet was Brother Gibson Lukufu. Are you clapping for him, Brother Gibson? Where are you, Brother Gibson? The class prophet, sorry, is Brother Mumbi Frederick. Brother Mumbi Frederick. Brother Mumbi Frederick. Brother Mumbi Frederick. And the prophetess, class prophetess, 
Watandisa wakati. Veronica Taulo Mtonga. Veronica Taulo Mtonga. Assistant class prophetess Watandisa Yeti Chimunta. Veronica Taulo Mtonga, you clapping for her? Tuambiri manja. Assistant class prophetess Yeti Chimunta. Watandisa wa Yeti Chimunta. Come on a big gun together for Jesus. Tuambiri manja, yes. In the LCC class, Mpuzi LCC. The class prophet is Deacon Arinse Ohale. Deacon Arinse Ohale, are you rejoicing with him? Assistant class prophet is Brother Asimwe Baker. Brother Asimwe Baker. Assistant class prophet. Now the class prophetess in LCC, Sister Linda Musenge. Sister Linda Musenge. Followed by assistant class prophetess. Sister Catherine Nakanya. Are you rejoicing with them? Sister Linda Musenge is there. And Assistant Class Prophetess Catherine Nakanya. Come on a big hand together for Jesus. For all that the Lord has done. The number of the graduates. In BCC, um, BCC, we are having 264 students. Are you clapping for 264 them? 264 graduates. 264. LCC, we are having 215 graduates. 215. 215 graduates. In total, we have 479 graduates today. Come on, a big gun together for Jesus. A big and 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 together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give Jesus a mighty hand if you are happy in the presence of the Lord. It's my privilege and honor to welcome our VIPs. Here. This is your first time to be in this tabernacle. On Sunday, you could have been here on Wednesday, but this is your first Sunday in this place. We are inviting you to wave your hands wherever you are. Wave your hands. Look at the matches. Look at the matches. Now, take, take one step, one step for faith. Rise up, carry your bag, and be coming here. God servant to bless a blessing for you as you are going home. Please rise up, ushers, help us. Rise up, all those who outside there you be coming in uh, in front here. Come, come, we want to give you a winner's welcome. Carry your bag, your Bible, and God's servant to pronounce a blessing for you. That generations after you will keep blessing sing you and celebrating you as the choir of the ministry.
If you are happy and excited to be in the house, shout the loudest hallelujah. And hallelujah, I am powerful. On the behalf of the president of our mission, Kimi Dr. Ako, David Oedepo, it's my privilege Danga Yanga. as the resident pastor of this assembly <laughs> to welcome you to Winners Chapel International <laughs> Lusaka. <laughs> are you welcoming <laughs> them right <laughs> now? Put your hands together <laughs> for <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We are glad you honored the invitation Jesus gave you. And we believe you have been blessed mightily in the name of Jesus. Your blessing shall be forever in the name of Jesus. Just immediately after this service, we have a special banquet for you. All of you remain in the auditorium will be hosting you specially all those who join us this month and those who are coming for the first time today church rise up on your feet and stretch out your hand to them and bless them rise up on your feet and pray that god establish their hard desire their miracle established I decree favor on your way you are blessed in your going out and you are blessed in your coming in Jesus mighty name shout a louder amen your coming today will leave you with a unique testimony forever in the name of Jesus. Whatever is your heart desire is released by your coming in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Also in the house this afternoon, it's a visiting ambassador. Ambassador Love Teza, formerly of Sweden. And UN ambassador to Sweden and UN, you are welcome, sir. The Lord bless you, sir. You are welcome. Sweden. We are so glad all of you came, and we are so glad you are all blessed in Jesus' mighty name. As long as you are in Lusaka, feel free to fellowship with us any of the Sundays. We meet for three services every Sunday. You can choose any of the three. Four service, zero six forty five hours. Second service, nine fifteen hours. And third service interpreted in Yanja is 11.15 hours. 0, 6, 45 hours, 9.15 hours, and 11.15 hours. You can choose any of the three to attend. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Church, are you clapping for them? Please follow this way. And this side, all are pastors and kingdom friends they will lead you to where you should be before the auditorium is ready god bless you this way this way anyone that is close to you are you clapping for them why are singers they are This week we are waiting on the law in a fast from Wednesday. 
We'll be here 1730 on Wednesday to break our fast. On Thursday, we are here 1730 to break the fast. And on Friday is the last one night with the king, the prophet himself, Bishop Boyedeko, will be ministering life. Are you clapping for Jesus? 23 hours on Friday is one night with the king. Don't miss that opportunity of being blessed in Jesus' name. Also, those who are intending to go to Shiloh 2011, get under the tent outside and register with the Shiloh committee. Those who want to go to Shiloh 2011, get under the tent and register with the Shiloh committee. The Lord bless you. Lift up your twins and glorify the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Thank you for the service. Thank you for your word, oh God. Oh, we celebrate you, Holy Spirit. Everyone be on your feet and let's give God thanks. Glorify his name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Once again, everyone intended to go to. Shiloh 2011, the annual convocation of the winner's family. Please do register with the Shiloh committee under the tent outside. The Lord bless you. All the Wobi graduates, not one person move until you have gotten your certificate. If you go away, the certificate will tear. Not one of you move until you have gotten your certificate. Can I hear a louder amen? They are far, they are, they are, we have final instruction there are final instructions to be passed across to you and um, be informed that another bcc and ldc kick off next week monday are you clapping for jesus ldc and bcc we are still considering the scc but for now bcc and ldc will be holding next week monday are you clapping for jesus lift up your two hands as you go this week may God's ultimate plan for your life be established in the name of Jesus may you return with testimony beginning from this Wednesday in the name of Jesus you're going out blessed and you're coming in blessed in Jesus mighty name all of our elders who have stayed through these three services may you be extremely blessed in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name let's share the goodness in fellowship surely